Well, be warned, the video that you are about to see is definitely going to be disturbing to any of the viewers out there. I really don't know how you couldn't find this absolutely horrendous unless you have no heart, no soul. Now, this is, uh, once again, from the Center for Medical Progress. It's their seventh expose and the third video in their Human Capital web series, and it exhibits absolute barbarism on the part of Planned Parenthood. Now, like I said, Holly O'Donnell worked for STEM Express, and STEM Express is a company that partnered with Planned Parenthood in California to harvest and sell organs obtained via abortions to medical researchers. The company pioneered techniques that are used to maintain heartbeats from aborted babies to better preserve them. One of the main slogans on the About Us section of its website is the purity, viability, and quality you need. Now, according to a Center for Medical Medical Progress press release, they say STEM Express has been cited in published scientific literature as a source of fetal hearts used for Langerdorf perfusion, which keeps a heart beating after it is excised from the body. Now, of course, since all of these videos have come out, STEM Express has cut ties with Planned Parenthood, you know, saying that they don't want to get caught up in this controversy. Planned Parenthood, of course, is denying any wrongdoing. And, you know, thankfully, they are now the subject of investigation by Congress and more than half a dozen states. But like I said, what you're about to see, it's really horrendous. You need to watch this video, though, and decide for yourself, you know, Planned Parenthood, is it a criminal organization from the top down or is it not? Should it be immediately stripped of federal taxpayer dollars or should we just go ahead and keep on funding um, really the downfall of our humanity? Roll the tape. I was training with Jessica and the Alameda and I've been doing it for a few weeks so I kind of knew what I was doing but kind of not. And I was really busy and one of the doctors came in and she looked really frustrated. The medical assistants were with her, and I was my deal to listen and see what's going on. And the doctor just says, if she can't calm down, I can't do the abortion, like, and I can't medicate her, something, something like that. And she was just distraught. Finally, the woman she calmed down, and the doctor went in to perform, perform the abortion. It takes a little while, and I'm in the hallway. I see the jar come out, goes into the the path lab. Yeah, Jessica, I can hear, is preparing it. It's rinsing out the jar, rinsing out the linen, the wrapping that catches it, dumping it in the strainer, rinsing it off, putting water in the pie dish, and getting it ready for the doctor. So then I hear her call my name, hey, Ollie, come over here. I want you to see something kind of cool. He's kind of neat. So I'm over here, and this is the moment I see it, I'm just flabbergasted. This is the most gestated be this and closest thing to a baby I've seen. And she's like, okay, I want to show you something. So she has one of her instruments and she just taps the heart and it starts beating. And I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this fetus and its heart is beating. And I don't know what to think. And she's like, you know why that's happening? And I knew why it was happening. It's because the electrical current was, the nodes were still firing. And I don't know if that constitutes its technically dead or it's alive it had a face it wasn't completely torn up and its nose was very pronounced it's it had eyelids and its mouth was pronounced and then since the fetus was so, so intact she said okay well this is a really good fetus and it looks like we can procure a lot from it um, we're going to procure a brain. So, I, the moment I hear something, like, that means we're going to have to cut the head open. We're going to have to cut the head open. So, it's like, okay, so what you do is you go through the face. I'm thinking, no, I don't want to do this. And she takes the scissors and she makes a small incision right here and goes, I would say, to maybe a little bit through the mouth. And she's like, okay, can you go the rest of the way? And I'm like, yes. And I remember picking it up and finishing going through the rest of the face. And Jessica picking up 
the brain and putting it in the container with the media and parafilming it and she left and she's like okay you can clean it up and I'm just I'm just sitting there like what did I just do and that was the moment I knew I couldn't work for the company anymore I remember holding that fetus in my hands when everybody else was busy and started crying and opened the lid and put it back It's just really hard knowing that you're the only person who's ever going to hold it, that baby. Well, that's it for the show tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching us on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and help take us to the next level. And be sure to share the show with your friends. You can also become a subscriber to PrisonPlanet.tv, where you'll get instant access to over 18 years worth of content. And it's all going to be in high def, much better quality than what you're going to find on YouTube. Uh, we got all of our movies there, all the documentaries, um, as well as our eBooks, things that you cannot find in the store. So thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We will see you here again tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. As a community moves towards despotism, respect is restricted to fewer people. <laughs> That's veteran Denver police officer Charles Jones IV smashing an unarmed suspect in the face six times. Officers accused of using excessive force on a suspect and then trying to erase the evidence. Of I'm, I'm observing what they're doing and they're me. I don't understand what's going on. A community rates low on an information scale when the press, radio, and other channels of communication are controlled by only a few people. Does it raise ethical questions about the use of government money to produce stories about the government that wind up being aired with no disclosure that they were produced by the government? How can you ask such a question? What difference at this point does it make? When a competent observer looks for signs of despotism in a community, he looks beyond fine words and noble phrases. There are actions I have the legal authority to take as president that will help make our immigration system more fair and more just. Tonight, I'm announcing those actions. What I say goes, see? I'm the law around here. <laughs> he came, he saw, he died. <laughs> yes, in modern warfare, our military leaders are finding that words and ideas are highly effective weapons. We just have to be repetitive about this. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. We are trained to deceive if we have to. You really didn't, don't have to trust me. You shouldn't trust me. In fact, by my actually participating in that, I will taint the news. In communities of this kind, despotism stands a good chance. The nine most terrifying words in the English language are I'm from the government, and I'm here to help. Well, goodness, youth, well, we're, we're going to do everything we can to help you. <laughs> Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's The Alex Jones Show, because there is a war on for your mind. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. And that's the principle of InfoWars Life, as far as I understand, that you've always had, is that it's not about synthetic chemicals and forcing actions. It's about letting your body do its own thing and giving your body the tools it needs to create these different compounds that are super valuable and super beneficial. You will find Brain Force and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888 Two five three three one three nine. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.